G'day guys, we have just hit 80, almost 81 hours in this build, so I thought I'd do a quick little video, 80th hour, um, I play with hard on, um, all the standard stuff, snow's on as well, it's a little bit of a drama the snow, but all in all it's pretty good, um, we got soybean planting down now, and I'm just fertilising this field and putting soybean in here, that's grass and grass. I'm going to do a little flyover, but you can see um, I've still got more of the map to, to buy yet, still a fair bit. But uh, that's the PDA, and we'll just do a quick little flyover. Uh, I suppose we'll start here. This is the truck yard. This entry exit, exit gate here. Um, I keep all the trucks and the trailers here. Um, I use four trucks for four different things. Um, if you've followed the series, you'll see why I use different trucks and different trailers. Um, as we come out here, this is our warehouse. It's a regional warehouse distribution centre. Um, all pallets and bales get stored in here. And um, yeah, it's fully working. Um, it's an unbelievable mod. I love it. I've put this ramp in here, we can now get inside uh, with a tractor, this is the was the only way to get in and out but obviously nothing bigger than a forklift would fit in there so I I put this ramp in and it, it actually works a real treat this dock leveller sits on top of this one and it's just super smooth to go in and out so yeah, that's uh, another part, this is the old truck yard um, had, the, um, had the orchards here uh, the greenhouses here, had three greenhouses here. Um, just in the process of uh, moving these final bales into the warehouse. We have uh, the workshop and fuel and whatnot over here. There's the in-game um, shop. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this block of land yet, but uh, it's going to be something pretty unique. Um, so all these fields, we've just finished harvest yesterday and i'll just do a quick fly over just these are all the fields here i got i got lots of them they're all fairly large i i do every crop and old mate here's just doing the fertilizer and he's missed a bit it's a bit bumpy that field it does does miss bits and pieces um we got we got storage silo midfield we got one in the far end of the field way down there straight ahead uh, if, see if I can put the dot on it. Anyway, it's under the balloon there, um, way down there. Uh, these are small fields. This is the main farm area. Um, we've got soybean plant getting planted in here right now. So, our mate's on his way. It's a grass field. These are the storage sheds. I use these mainly for the um, for the field equipment. Um, and the harvester, harvester header, has um, its own cover. Uh, this is the robo feed. Um, I had the standard feed in here before I could afford it. And uh, <laughs> this saves me a lot of work. Um, it's pretty cool. Uh, we've got extra milk storages here. We get a, a ton of... So uh, it's, 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 it's <sighs> My brain. I'll come back to that in a sec. Slurry, we get a ton of slurry. Um, this is where I keep some straw bales and the straw blower to put the bedding down for the cows. Uh, we got more slurry, slurry, slurry. We we got so much slurry here and a lot of manure. Um, it's the main silo. So everything comes back to here before loading up and going off to the sales. Um, these guys here, they could do some straw top up. These are the bulls, they're now four months old. They're not ready to breed yet, but uh, they're doing pretty good. Uh, over here we've got the corn, the old, the old corn field. Um, it's ready to reseed. We've got another field, grass field here. Uh, this leads up to the house, to the homestead. We've got four horse paddocks in here, very large ones. They were my original grass fields, um, where, where I made all my money out of to sort of kick off this series, um, this needs more decoration and and stuff, but 
I'm just haven't haven't completed it yet. We're 80 hours, 81 hours, almost 82 hours into the build. So there's the four horse horse paddocks. Each paddock has its own horse in it. Uh, there's the stable over here. I always keep one in the field. Um, that way the other horses don't die because whatever if when that horse feeds, the other ones get fed. We've got our chook pens here. They've been here since the beginning, since I started right here. This is the starting square. I just keep wheat and barley in this one, um, just for the chooks. Um, our honey, we've got plenty of pallets, we've got to go and get them. Uh, this field's going to be just a tiny little wheat field, just to, all barley, um, just to feed the chooks. Uh, we'll go, before coming back into town, we'll go up here, we'll go to the outskirts of town. And we zip around here, this is all the uh, mining area. This, um, fairly large area um, we got S that's for salt all the salt gets stored here they're all mining mining and digging and carrying on whatnot doing their bit this road at the moment just dirt roads back to the to the back of the farm but when I buy all that land up there I'm gonna put residential and all sorts of uh, other little farms up there MPC farms uh, Waybridge in Waybridge out the office uh, F for fertiliser. This is where I come and drop all my granuled fertiliser off from my production factories, which we're about to go to. Um, all the stone gets collected here, so each time I do fieldwork, stone, I just come and dump it here. It goes in there and makes me the granuled fertiliser, which then I stuff over here and just keep, just keep building it up, dropping it off. This is lime. Um, sorry, this makes this is. This makes lime, not the fertiliser. It makes lime. Lime goes straight across the road, dump it in there. Uh, this is where the sugar beets go. I do sugar beets every season. Um, we get granuled uh, fertiliser out of that fella, and he goes down and dumps over there uh, where the uh, granuled fertiliser goes. Uh, slurry, beets, all this, the standard... Um, Stuff goes in here, liquid fertiliser gets made here, water and granuled fertiliser gives me the, the liquid fert. I do, I do want to put a, uh, I might do it now actually, I've got 218, I've got enough money for it. I'll just quickly do this, uh, we're just going to have liquid storage over here and a silo, we only need a small one. Uh, Actually, I'll, I'll put a big one here. Uh, we do have that one. I don't, I don't know if that does liquid. Anyway, it doesn't look like it does liquid. I don't think it does. I won't worry about putting one in yet. I want to keep this video as short as I possibly can. Everything has power. That all runs from, from the uh, from the shop. So the power lines are all legit. They all run and feed everywhere. This is where I had olives and grapes. Decided I'm not going to do them. They're just an absolute nightmare. I just don't want to do them. I had the two sheds here. Um, made an O there for olive. This is where the olive, olive stuff for the olives were kept. This is where the stuff for the grapes were kept. Had a silo here. Had the grape um, processing uh, factory here. But uh, I'm going to turn this into a, an MPC farm. I uh, don't know what I'm going to do yet. I'm just going to leave it as is for now. This is all the touristy area. I'm going to put hotels and all um, all touristy stuff around here, up on top of the hill. A uh, nice big hotel uh, overlooks this moat, lake, uh, fishing wharfs. This is all the foreshore kind of, and you can walk through here. It looks really good at night. So. Got some things for the kiddies to play on and some paths for people to come down and go across the road and get their lunch and just chillax here, come here for holidays, another fishing wharf here. We've got a nightclub here, um, outside um, restaurant diner area. We've got a uh, sweet shop, um, the diner. We have my family restaurant, it's a good restaurant this one, looks fantastic at night. Or the uh, the banner there, the Mafamalia banner, me it uh, fluorescent glows and flickers different colours. It's really cool. 
We've got the bakery here. So we've got some storage. Uh, we'll shoot around the back. Um, I've got to put the hotel and all that in yet. Farmer's Market is here. It's not quite finished. I'm still in the process of finishing this off. They share a common service driveway for deliveries uh, for the back of the shopping centre. So this is the shopping centre here. Plenty of room for the kids to come and have a play while mum and dad are in there shopping or whatever. And uh, some areas that people can come and, and have their lunch if they don't want to go down to the foreshore. Uh, we've got our wool production down here um, that bring our wool here and it turns it into uh, cloth which then goes over here to our tailor shop and uh, we've got the grain mill here which we're ready to pick up some pallets from uh, this is the cereal factory or the back of it back of the cereal factory we don't have anything ready here as yet Go across the road, we got the dairy. They bring all the dairy down here, all the excess milk gets stored here. No other crop goes in here, it's just milk, milk only. Um, and we've got butter, unsalted butter on production run. They're ready to go. So we're going to be collecting all those pallets today. Uh, uh, yep, yeah, we've seen that one. This one here is, uh, we'll come and drop all the grass in here and it ferments it into hay the hay then comes over here we turn that into silage and silage and hay and straw go over here this makes my tmr we still got enough in there just and uh we're back at the warehouse and the old truck yard and the power that i was saying runs all the way to the power box here so yeah, it's, uh, it's been a, a legit build. It's been a realism build. Although I have used a few, um, I've put a cut through road here. I've got to pick these trees up and stumps and that. I have used the auto baler a few times and I've used the auto um, rigid truck to pick up these little pallets. I think I'll continue to use it that way. It's not exactly realistic, but if I was to go around and carry a forklift with me, and pick every single one of these pallets up and put them on I'd be here for five hours um, there's 26 uh, production and sales points on this map it's absolutely huge humongous it's keeps me extremely busy ridiculously busy so there it is so I'm gonna get back into work now and um, yeah off we go take care hope you enjoyed it like subscribe if you wish this series has got a long way to go and hopefully um, some of you might get a few tips along the way or share a few of your tips with me. So I go live every single day. Take care and uh, see you soon.